and a Denebolus monolacornis, the bumblebee millipede. Beautiful black and yellow stripes. And I put that on my hand to contrast the size difference between it getting trampled there a little bit and this Archispirostreptus gigas, African giant black millipede. These used to be very common, even in pet stores, but through the millipede hobby. They are the largest, and nothing will ever replace them in our pet tanks. Unfortunately, they were banned from import a while back. 2019 now, it's probably been 15 years, 10 to 15 years, since we used to see them at the reptile shows, $10 a piece. Can you even imagine? Now they're nearly impossible to source. This is the first one I've seen in a couple of years. One of a kind. Always good to see them again. This one was captive bred here in the United States. Such an amazing animal. They really hold on tight too. This specimen here doesn't have the mites that you often used to see on wild-caught specimens. They used to be imported by the thousands, but that little mite apparently was able to affect crops of some kind or another. I don't know if it was tulips or something else. It's been at least 10 years since I read about why they were banned. But the size of these things, they can measure 12 inches, maybe even more. This one here is between 7 and 8 inches, and you can see it's the size of my forearm. Enjoying a little bit of sun out here. Me and the millipedes. These here are an established species in Florida and maybe into neighboring states. They've managed to do really well there. Beautiful, not nearly as fast moving as many other hobby species, but colorful. And they do really well in tanks with other species. Got a little bit of a train here going on now. Such curious animals. I sure miss the days when I used to have tanks of them. I did manage to breed them a couple times. Always in a substrate that had a high proportion of sand in it. Babies are very small, white, thick looking. The eggs were pretty good sized. You couldn't miss them there in the sand as you carefully sifted through it. The wave-like pattern and the way they move their legs is always mesmerizing. You can see it going backwards there a little bit. See if we can get in on the face a little bit closer. You have to be careful to turn it so that it doesn't fall. It has a good grip, but it's a very heavy animal, and if I were to turn it over very quickly on my hand here, it could fall.
So this is a video that I put up probably around 2004, 2005, hard to say. It appears that I filmed it under a red lamp. And this is a particularly long specimen. I might guess it was about 10 inches. A little longer than the one in the preceding video. Definitely filmed it under red light. Insects can't see in red light and I'm pretty sure millipedes fall into that same category in terms of whether they can see under red light or not. I filmed this previous house and oh and this one this was a wild caught specimen back then you used to be able to purchase wild caught specimens and many of them if not all of them were pretty covered in these little commensal mites these mites probably perform duties much like what we see in hissing cockroaches mites move around and feed on decaying bits of food that the millipede is also eating. Probably travel with the millipede and then feed on little bits of food around the millipede's mouth or on its body. With hissing cockroach mites, they're known to feed on fungus and other little things growing on the cuticle of the cockroach. You can see there that the millipede is coiled up. That's a defense mechanism. They do that to protect their head and other sensitive areas of their body. You can see there that the millipede is basically excreting some poop and if that gets into the mouth of a predator it's likely distasteful. Beside dung beetles most things don't like a mouth full of poop. <laughs> and you can see this one it's not just coiled up like many millipede species but because of the girth of it, the thickness of it, it actually forms sort of a three-dimensional coil and so it's almost more like a sphere.